generally understand how to prevent the flow of heat, but what conditions allow for an increase in the conduction of heat? Ice melting blocks allow students to explore on their own, inquiring into the concepts of heat transfer and thermodynamics. Ask students to touch both blocks. The heavy aluminum block feels cooler than the foam block. Ask them which block would be able to melt ice more quickly if it were placed on top. What do you think? Now I'm going to take two ice cubes and I'm going to place one on each block. Let's see what happens. Pretty dramatic results. The ice placed on the aluminum block begins to melt almost instantly, while the ice placed on the foam block does nothing. If we were to touch both blocks again, we would find the aluminum block is very cold. Before the demonstration began, the two blocks were at the same temperature. This could be verified with an infrared thermometer. However, the aluminum block felt cooler because it transferred heat from the skin at a faster rate. Now this is where I would discuss the two materials' thermodynamic properties and explain that aluminum is an excellent conductor of heat. You could also discuss other applications of thermal conductivity, such as material choices for cookware or engines, where control of heat transfer is important. Maybe this explains why the bathroom floor is so cold in the wintertime when you step off of the carpet. I want to try this again.